Okay, so technically, I am a pro beach volleyball player, but I would not consider myself one. I only say that because I've made about $1,000 winning a couple tournaments. Um, but I wanted to make this video because it's not very clear how one becomes a pro beach volleyball player. Um, and so you know, like, how difficult it is. Um, so the, the AVP has qualifiers. And they're around the same time as the actual AVP tournaments, but they're just like a couple days before. Um, people who don't have enough points to make it into the main draw, they enter into the qualifier. And if you keep winning um, for the the Thursday and Friday, then you make it into the into the main draw. Um, and I think if you, it's by points. So if you have enough points, then you'll you'll make it into the main draw for tournaments that don't have uh, qualifiers because not every tournament has a qualifier there's like 16 tournaments this year and only seven of them have qualifiers maybe eight okay so that's how you get in is by points and winning tournaments and doing well in tournaments the better you do the more points you get um, but that's only part of it the hardest part i think right now is finding a partner that's not only good but that you work well with who's willing to work really hard every day who's willing to spend a lot of money traveling and entering tournaments um, who plays well in games in high pressure situations who knows how to win and is willing to not make almost any money for a long time. So they have to really want it. These people have to really want it. And somebody who can grow. So these guys who are already playing pro and who are really good, um, they don't want to take a chance with somebody younger and up and coming because they could risk their spot in, in, the, in the main draw because if they don't do so well with you, then they won't get as many points. So you have to find somebody who's hasn't quite made it yet, who has around the same amount of points as you, uh, who you think is good and can get a lot better. Just all, just all these factors. Um, so that that's how difficult it is. And then you play tournaments with each other, see like how you do. Um, and then you can figure out like how you go from there. It's a, it's a weird dynamic because you're it's a relationship that you're building with a person. It's not just a player, but it's a human that you that you need to see like okay, does this work out? And like you have to communicate with them if it's not working out. Like hey, like I don't think this is working too well. I'm gonna play with somebody else. Um, but right now. What I'm doing is trying to train as much as I can. Luckily, I have a, a great coach that's doing three three trainings trainings a week. Um, he's a Christian guy, so we do we do prayer before uh, read the Bible, and then we work really hard. and um, And I think that to be as best as you can be, you need to be playing twice a day, at least every day, and twice a day and then you have to work out you have to work out your whole body because if you don't you will get hurt and you won't be playing to your full capacity um, and then you have to stretch and that's something a lot of people don't do and it's another reason why people get injured um, is they don't stretch after they play after is more important than before so you get to go to warm up before but you have to stretch after and sometimes it takes almost an hour if you really hit every muscle group for a minute each. Take at least 30 minutes to get a good stretch in every day. Um, also, when you're playing with people for practice, like you want to have high level practice. Um, so you have to find people who are worth playing with. The thing about volleyball is that the level changes so drastically. Just a little, somebody who's a little bit better, you can tell the difference so much. 
So you don't want to be playing with somebody who's a little bit worse than you because it's just it's a different game. It's you're not going to be getting um, as better as you can. Um, and also these people that you do want to train with, hopefully they're free in the mornings and afternoons. So they have to be committed. Um, and then living, I'm living in, in Orange County. There's not a whole lot of great players down here. It seems like everybody's up in the South Bay, Hermosa Beach, Manhattan, Santa Monica. Um, so will I make the move up there? I don't know. Might be worth it if I can get some good guys here. I'll stay. But right now the struggle is finding somebody because there's a there's a qualifier in Michigan in June. So I'm trying to see who who I'm gonna go to that with. Cause I'll be spending at least five hundred dollars, a plane ticket, um hotel, food, Uber if I'm Ubering. Um, so is it worth going out there if we're just going to lose the first game? So just wanted to fill you in on that. This is like the before becoming a pro video. Uh, hopefully I make another one explaining exactly how I did it. Uh, and that one should be more valuable.